to you to lie down on the floor. And you look under the bed, and amongst the storage boxes and dust bunnies, you see a mouse. You hear its war cry. Roll for saves. This is episode four. And today we need to finish up the meeting between uh, Jafing and Nada. Uh, they were uh, having a breakfast, Jafing's dinner, Jafing works night shift um, at, a, at a kind of a bed and breakfast that also serves as a sort of um, uh, uh, tavern. You, get a couple, you can get a meal if you pay a little bit. And uh, Nada was trying to convince Jafing to help uh, help the the uh, blade archivists, the what are they called? The yellow blades. Uh, trying to get them to help, uh, trying to get Jafing to help um, move some stuff around. Uh, uh, some basically they want to steal some artifacts that are going probably leaving uh leaving via ship soon so they're probably going to come in on the new rail station from one of the uh, frontier towns and then uh get loaded at the docks uh probably inside of some you know bunch of uh, large wooden crates and such uh going back to the old archipelagos and Jafing, being a young security guard is not sure what they want to do um they they're just wanting to keep their head down and do a good job um but nada is kind of um offering another way to uh get promoted as he said um to to help chafing make a different way through the world so what we're going to do is, oops, I've got to turn on my laser again. Laser pointer. Um, actually, I'm going to do the fade highlighter. I like that one. All right. So uh, Jay Fing's thinking about it. Um, right at the end of last session, uh, we designed their, uh, the cult's logo. Their, their hidden sign, which is a golden pin in the shape of uh, five sabers arrayed, uh, fanned out, kind of like a peacock's tail or something. Um, and they kind of keep it hidden under a fold of cloth. Like they, they, they might pin it to the, the cuff of their sleeve and then cover it with a shirt or something. And then they can just pull it back a little bit to show or under a lapel on a jacket. Uh, something of that nature. So, um, Nada is going to uh, invite Jafing out for a little bit. Um, Jafing's tired, but Jafing's intrigued. So, uh, they'll uh, agree for the time being, at least. And Nada's going to take Jafing out to the market. Um, they finish their uh, breakfast, hot cakes and sausage and such. They go out to the market and Jafing's going to, not Jafing, Nada's going to try to impress Jafing. Uh, I cannot do that with that one. I can't use that one. I need the laser pinner, pointer. There we go. Yeah, that one I can click. Okay. So Jafing, um, Nada's going to try to impress Jafing by uh, getting an item. Uh, faction item objects. There we go. I'm gonna roll uh and buy something valuable at the market. So I'm gonna roll just under valuables here. Rolling a d6. Uh, that's a five. Uh, creature. All right. Um. So this is kind of a edge of the frontier, not the very edge, but you know the old frontier. Um. And as I said, it's the main port for things going back to the old world, so to speak. So a lot of a lot of strangeness comes through the port. Um, uh, livestock comes in to help build up stock for the new farms and everything going up. 
but weird exotic animals, rare animals that haven't been seen back across the ocean. Um, they're often shipped back uh, across. So what NADA is going to do is take chafing through in uh Jafing's, you know, of course, looking intrigued about everything and a rolled creature. So Jafing's just really, uh, really intrigued by the birds. Um, Jafing just has this thing about birds. And because I rolled the uh, earlier, I rolled that he has a summon parrot spell. Um, so he's really just intrigued about birds. And uh, Nada is going to, Nada says, Oh, you like that bird, do you? It we'll say it's some kind of like a, a brightly colored uh, parrot. Not not like giant like a macaw, but like a regular size parrot. You know, maybe a hand span or hand length for um, the 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 height of it. Macaws are really rather large. Uh, this one's not too big, maybe six inches tall, fifteen centimeters. So. Uh, Nada sees Jafing admiring the birds and says, oh, th those lovely, lovely specimens, aren't they? And Jafing's, oh, yes, they, they're so beautiful. I always feel so sorry for them stuck in those cages. I heard if you train them well, then they don't need the cage. But, you know, you have to really treat them well and everything. I feel sorry for these birds. You know, often they find their way back to the old land and, you know, the, the climate's not quite right for them. They're, they're quite miserable, I heard. So, uh, Jafing's just, you know, looks kind of down, downcast about that. And Nala says, how would you like to have a pet? And Jafing's eyes just light up. Um, he's rather young. He's still pretty much a boy at heart. Um, oh, I, I, I can't afford one of these. Look, look at that price tag. It's so expensive. And not a, uh, oh, oh, don't worry about that. Look, with the people I've worked with, money is not really an option for us or not really uh, an obstacle for us. So uh, he goes and he uh, flashes the, the pin um, under his, I'm going to say not a, he's wearing a, a, a coat. And uh, this, this area is kind of prone to sudden rains, especially um, in the afternoons and evenings. And it, it he so a lot of people they wear like uh, sort of like a a duster, but it's they're they're oiled, um, treated for when it rains and everything. Um, and he he because it's still kind of warm, he keeps the the sleeves rolled up. And then he, so he, he unrolls part of the cuff until the, the pin can be seen by the, the person working in Nada, of course, already knows, hey, this person's member of our group. And he ends up getting the, um, the parrot and we'll say, uh, roughly a week's worth of food, probably a D6 of food. And he gives them to, um, it gives him to young Jafing. So Jafing, I'm going to throw this into his inventory. Uh, he gets a parrot to be named later. And uh, uh, food, some uh, pet supply. So supply D6. All right. Um, so I do have rules for pets in the game. Um. There are small pets, medium pets, large pets, and each one uh, gives different bonuses to you, assuming that they are trained um, and that they work well with you. But Jafing just received this. So right now it's just a thing in the inventory, just something to be carried. Um, so maybe after a few sessions, um, the parrot can become helpful. But right now it's just something he's going to have to keep fed. And maybe after, maybe after I run to, run through a few dice worth of uh, pet food, then it will become more useful for Jafing. Um, so Jafing's really, really surprised, and not a, 
uh, Nada says, look, I know you worry about your job. I understand you don't want to be in trouble. If there is trouble, I can help you, son. I'm here. You know, I'm I'm a detective. You know, I know many of the beat cops and everything. You're not going to get in serious trouble. We just need access. That's all we're asking for. If you give us access, we'll take care of the rest, and you will be compensated. Uh, Jafing asks, well, can I think about it, sir? And Nada says, uh, yeah, I think that's acceptable. Or, or it's, it's kind of a big deal for you. When, when are you supposed to go back on duty? And Jafing is supposed to go back, of course, um, this evening. Uh, he needs to get some sleep and then has a few hours before going into work that take care of personal business and such. So he tells uh, Nada, oh, I have to go in this evening, and I I really, you know, I'll, I'll really consider it. I, I really appreciate it. Just and he keeps looking at the bird. Just can't believe that this expensive bird was just bought for him. Um, and not a says yes, yes. Think about it, son. Oh, uh, take that bird home. Get it settled in, and uh, want you meet me. Uh, meet me for your breakfast before you go into work. Um, the same place where we where we just had breakfast, and Nada agrees, and goes back to um goes back to their uh the room they they got like a room rented in in a big tenement building. Uh, it's not much. It's it's uh. Maybe what you might find in like a small college dorm room or something. This this one room, shared bathroom, and you know the they don't even have meals or anything. It's just a place to uh, to sleep, lay your head. If you want to pay, if you want clean clothes, you can pay extra money. And the local local washing uh, workers will come and pick up the washing and take it down, get it washed, and bring it back. Um. And that costs money, or you can spend your time doing it yourself. So, and then you got to go find food outside somewhere. So that's where he's staying. Um, is there no pet policy? That's gonna be. I think that's gonna be more than likely. Oh, that's um unfavorable, very unfavorable for Jafing. So Jafing's gonna have to sneak in this bird. Or find some other place to be for the day. Um, didn't think that when he picked it up. He he walks down the street. He's he's happy. He's tired. It's the end of the end of his day. Um, he usually is asleep by now. And he's walking down the street, um, feeling chipper. Um, still has on his leather jacket and sword and everything from his uh, duty as night watch, and carrying this this cage. With the bird in it, the cage is small. It's, it's a little, it's a cage for uh, transporting a parrot, not for a parrot to live in. Um, Jafing, of course, doesn't know that. And so he has that in one hand, and he has a, a big, uh, big cloth sack, big cotton sack of um, bird seed, uh, large nuts and things for this parrot to eat. And he's just happy. He's chipper. Um, whistling in the morning and then stops in front of the building and just oh oh man i can't take this bird inside oh what am i going to do what am i going to do um i think jafing is going to look to a sibling i think jafing has a sibling um does jafing have a sibling i think more than likely uh yes um nine and four jafing does have a sibling male or female two is a female and we need to make a name i got my name generator here uh jafing has three vowels we'll do the same thing three vowels boom 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 uh six six four two a's and an o 
And let's get some consonants in uh, the 20s. Mm, two fours, what, what's four? The G, 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 15, W, uh, Gall, Wag, 10 is P, 13 is a T. So let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I need scrap. Hmm. All right, so we have. Oh, oh, oh those are too small. Uh, I hate how it makes it small right there. Okay. We have O O A. Why those zeros? O O A. Oh, sorry, A A O. Uh, four, four, thirteen, G, G, P. There's a P in there, and uh, fifteen, W. Mm. Agoa. Oa, Waga, Tappa. Her name is Tappa. All right, so Tappa is Jafing's sister. Mm, is she married? I think 50-50. Yes, she is. All right, um, she's married. Is she, is she a housewife or working? I'm going to say she's a housewife because that'd be more convenient for Jafing. So Jafing goes to... Uh, uh, Tapa's house, Tapa Tawa, Tapa. So Jafin goes to Tapa's house, um, and uh, hi sis, um, I have a favor if you could help me out. What is it this time, Jafing? And Jafing's. Uh, looks kind of sheepish. Um, Jafing's caused some trouble for the family. And Jafing says, um, I've come into possession of this bird and I can't take it to my room. Can you keep it for a couple of days until I get everything settled? Um, it, it should just be a day or two. It won't, won't, be long and tapas <sighs> chafing what are you getting into oh i'm working i'm working i'm 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 working security down at the at the station the new electric station the but look i came in this possession of this bird but i i'm not allowed to have pets in my tenement but can you keep it until i get moved over uh, there's there's another tenement that I can take that I can rent out. They they charge a little bit extra, but you know if I can have this pair to be worth it. And Tapa is like, all right, all right, I'll take it. Um, is uh, does she have a sister? Does she have children yet? Mm, that's unfavorable for taping. So yes, there is a child, but you know if. Uh, Kylie gets um attached to it. Kylie is J. Bings. Uh, niece. Okay, Kylie J. Bings. If Kylie gets attached to it, you know it's just gonna break her heart if you take it back. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it won't be long, a, a, night, a, a day or two at most. I'm, I'm really bush now. I just need to go get some sleep. I'll try to get everything transferred over tonight, and I pick it up tomorrow morning. Um, but, yeah, just keep it for me for a little bit, please. And she finally agrees. And Jay Fing goes back home and just collapses on bed, on his bed, um, just exhausted, but wakes up early and his mind's just racing. He has to make the decision. What's he going to do? Um, usually he'd wake up, say, about six. He'd wake up about six um, to get ready for the to, for going to work. That give him, you know, one or two hours. Let's we'll say it's kind of summertime, so it's getting dark about eight o'clock or so. Um, so he'd go to sleep and wake up about, uh, like I said, about six o'clock. Give him a couple hours. Get get up, uh, get washed up grab a bite to eat, do some shopping or something if they needed to. Uh, but he wakes up, his mind is just racing, racing, racing. What is he going to do? What's he going to do? What's he going to do? And he goes down to the, the tenement um, that allows pets and sets up, um, do they have do they have uh, a room free do they have a vacancy and i think it's going to be straight 50 50 so it has to be uh oh no they don't have vacancy now oh that's going to hurt chafing sorry sorry son we just don't have vacancy now the chafing is really starting to worry now um and considering that he might need to return the bird or something he doesn't want to just leave it at his sister's um and he's not sure what to do. Uh, there's a couple other tenements but, that he can check on, but right now he just doesn't have the time to check. So he's going to go um, get some breakfast, uh, get his breakfast, um, and meet Nara. Nara Nala is going to uh, Nala meets him at the same place, the bed and breakfast place. And uh, Jay Fing's looking distressed and not as, oh, what's the matter, Jay Fing? Is, is your parrot okay? Oh, it's, I don't know what to do. I, I the, the tenement I live in, we're, we're not allowed to have birds or pets at all. So I took it to my sister's, but that's just temporary. Um, she can't keep it either. Either um, her husband will have a fit when he comes back to town. So I went to uh, Mc uh, McGinnis's uh, tenement, but they're all they're all full. There's no vacancies, so I don't know where I can go with this bird. And not a. Nala, maybe Nala was planning on this. Maybe Nala um, had this as an idea already. Oh, well, that's a shame. That's a shame. You know, I might be able to help you out. And he calls over the proprietor of this uh, bed and breakfast, uh, male or female? Male. Um, we'll say the name is... I'm just gonna roll a couple of d10s. Uh, nine, two, and seven. Seven. The dl. Dl nine two seven nine two. Two two nine seven seven one seven e. Ned. All right. N e d. Obvious. All right. So Ned is um. The proprietor, maybe his wife is the, you know, helping him take care of everything. And like I said, it's, they, they have tenements, um, not tenements, but they have rooms they let out, usually a bit more expensive. Um, 
you know they they come in and they you know dust and turn down the shit the 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 shed the sheets um you know change out the linens for you that kind of thing uh more like you know just a temporary hotel or something and so uh nala calls ned over ned what's your what's your policy on pets here um and it, ned is like oh we're fine with pets we, we have people come through with pets all the time is that so look this here is chafing and uh possibly gonna be our new friend and but Jafing's also recently came in possession of a new pet. Um, but unfortunately, uh, his tenement owner does not allow pets. Very strict policy. Such a shame. Mm. Could we work out something for our new friend here to stay um, with his pet? And Ned looks over at Nala. Maybe Nala, like, you know, flashes the 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 arrayed sabers cuff or something. Um, they know each other. And so Ned gets whatever it is, whatever sign, whatever they have between them. Ned understands, oh, this is for the good of the brotherhood. And agrees. Um, oh, yes, yes. For... If we're going to have a new friend, um, then absolutely he can stay here. You know, I, I don't let just anyone stay here long term. Um, we actually make uh, better money from people coming and going um, as is. But uh, for our friendship, yes, I, I can make an exception. And Nala, oh, Nala says, oh, that's, that's wonderful news, wonderful news. So, Jafing, have we agreed what's going to, to happen tonight? And Jafing's just dumbfounded. Like, what? What? Stay, stay here in your home? I mean, I, I know you're running it as, you know, as a temporary stay. Uh, you know, you rent out your rooms, but, you know, as a place to live? Oh yes, yes, of course. Um, you know, for especially for you know a young man such as yourself, if you're, you know, going to be good friends with us, of course we'll make it a, a an, an exception. Would Would you like to see our rooms? Um, uh, I mean, we would like to keep the larger room for, uh, when there are, you know, bookings with multiple guests, but. I think the smaller room um, would be room enough for you. It's at least, you know, as large as any of the tenements that we have in the city. So Jafing, uh, yeah, sure. I, I would love to see it. I'll say they're finished eating. Um, I go upstairs, look at the room, and it's immaculate. It is clean, um, you know, wooden floor. Uh, there's bureau and dressers and mirrors and washstand, and everything is just great. Um, you know, he does have to go down the. I, I'm I'm gonna say there's running water in the city. Um, so yeah, he can go down the hall for like a shared bathroom. Um, and they they explain, you know, we we can throw the laundry in with our own. Um. We wash the sheets um, usually once per, per guest that's coming through. Um, but if you're going to be here permanently, we can do them, we'll say, uh, once a fortnight. And uh, we can also throw your laundry in with ours. That should not be a problem. Uh, so, you know, your pet should be okay. Um, you know, as, as long as we have a good friendship, I don't mind helping a friend. And Jafing just agrees okay that's no problem um how much is it going to cost me and ned looks over at nada nada and nada's like 
giving a little hand signal or something for like, you know, nothing, like for now, nothing. Um, because if they have somebody working night shift uh, at the at the station, that's going to give them so much access to everything coming through. Um, it'll be absolutely so valuable for the Brotherhood right now that they, they just want to give Jafing the world just to have this access. So Jafing has a new tenement. Um, Jafing says that he'll move in. Um, he has to get to work and he'll move in uh, after work tonight. Uh, in the morning, he'll he'll get everything moved in. And Nada said, Nada says, well, if if you give me the key to your establishment, we can get everything moved over. But Jafing's a little bearded out about that. No, thank you. Um, and Nala understands um, and reminds Jafing that they're going to need the access tonight. Um, that it won't be Nala coming himself, but uh, there will be a couple men coming in and they will show him their pins. And he gives Jafing a pin. Um, as I said before, Jafing's wearing like a short uh, jacket, a short leather jacket um, with short sleeves. And it's mainly just for protection in case something does happen. Um, it's, it's, it's fairly warm weather, um, but this uh, oiled leather jacket, you know, it'll help if someone likes to try to stab his ribs or something. It'll help give some protection. Um, so they take the uh, a pin for Jafing and Jafing doesn't really button the jacket. It's not that cold around here. So he puts the pin um, inside the left side of the breast so he can kind of just open the breast a little bit and show the the pin, flash the pin. And I think we're going to stop there for tonight. Um, next session, we'll get into uh, whatever heist or whatever's happening down at the docks um so uh before we go just want to say if you want to read uh synopsis um rules descriptions and such you can visit rollforsaves.blogspot.com uh to hear the podcast go to anchor fm slash roll for saves or, or search for it on the podcaster of your choice to see roll for saves in video you can go to youtube.com and the new handle system it's at Roll for saves. So youtube.com slash at roll for saves. And to support the content and gain access to documentation, um, you can see everything at patreon.com slash roll for saves. And questions, comments, uh, et cetera, you can send them to roll for saves at gmail.com. Play games and have fun.